Now, Italy's coalition government will live on or fall apart. On August the 20th, well, the country's Senate has decided to hold a vote of no confidence on that date. But Deputy Prime Minister Matteo Salvini has now dangled an alternative scenario in front of lawmakers. Vote to cut the number of parliamentarians, something his coalition partners, the Five Star Movement, have wanted all along, then proceed directly to a general election, something Mr Salvini desperately wants. Well, joining me now from Rome to unpick what this all means is our correspondent, Georgia Alandi, who's with us from Rome. So, Georgia, just tell us, what's the significance of this diplomatic compromise that Matteo Salvini has suggested in the Senate? And tell us, Georgia, why is he offering this now? Good evening, Isabel. So as you mentioned, the session opened at 6 and one hour later, the Senate decided that on the 20th of August, it will have to vote on a no confidence motion against uh, Prime Minister Conte. In a way, the Senate rejected the proposal made by the centre-right uh, to hold that vote tomorrow. And instead, it voted in favour of the proposal made by the Democratic Party and the M5 Star to hold that vote on the 20th of uh, August. Several senators spoke. One took uh, the floor, uh, and that is uh, Matteo Salvini. It's been quite a while since he did not speak in the Senate, since the time of the uh, BuzzFeed report on the uh, alleged funds received by the League from uh, Russia. He said something quite specific. First of all, he said, well, I don't understand why lawmakers are complaining about the fact that they were summoned back to Rome. And then he said, let's give the chance to the people to uh, say what they really want. And obviously, he entered to the uh, elections. And then he said something quite surprising. He said, well, the M5 star are calling for a legislation cutting the number of lawmakers uh, to be voted before the elections. Let's do that. Let's cut 345 lawmakers and then let's go straight back to the polls. Now, it's not quite clear what it means by that because this is a, a very uh, complicated reform that has to do with uh, the whole restructuring of the electoral system. And that means that this will trigger a series of reforms and that means also that elections won't take place before six months. Now, when asked by journalists, what do you mean by that? How, what do you mean when you say that you can go back to the polls the day after? He said, well, according to the Constitution, it is possible. So it is possible to vote on that reform, uh, dissolve parliament, and then let the next, the following government deal with that. Now, the Empire Star said, we don't accept this uh, compromise. We will let President Mattarella decide, uh, well, decide the way I had. But one thing is for sure is that the uh, issue of timing here will be even more complicated after what Salvini said. OK, Georgia, in a nutshell now, but, you know, what can we expect of this no confidence vote on August the 20th? So, Isabel, unless Prime Minister Conte resigns before, and there are rumours of that, before uh, the vote takes place on the uh, 20th of August, well, President Mattarella will have to take into account the outcome of the vote and perhaps he will decide to give Conte a new mandate to try and form a new majority or he will choose a different person, a person he trusts. If that attempt fails, then the choice is to go back to the polls. Now, um, 60 days have to pass between the moment Parliament is dissolved and new election. So the choice here really is between a caretaker government or new election. But the question that needs to be answered is when. OK, well, complex political situation there in Italy. Georgia Landi, thanks so much for throwing light on it. Georgia Landi in Rome.